He was strong on foreign policy and getting America's respect in the world. He was thin-skinned and easily distracted. He didn't do anything on fiscal policy and, and really spent a lot of money, and we're all paying the price for it. He did do a better job than Biden on the border, really trying to corral that in and stop that. He used to be good on foreign policy, and now he has started to walk it back and get weak in the knees when it comes to Ukraine. A terrible thing happened on January 6th, and he called it a beautiful day. And in the eyes of America, it was a terrible day. Yeah, that's that. She got all that right, which I guess the reason why we're playing that clip is because Republicans that are running for president, other yeah. than Chris Christie and Asa Hutchinson, don't usually say that. Yeah. I, I, that but she's saying it. Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley in New Hampshire yesterday responding to a question on how Trump's legacy will be remembered 100 years from now. And Mike, <laughs> Mike, this is a change. Again, you this know, quite I'm, a I'm, legacy. I'm always talking, when you look at polls, don't expect a 10-point or 20-point swing, 0. 0.25, 0. 0.5. Here you have Asa Hutchinson, okay, not a lot to lose right now because he's so low in the vote. Chris Christie focused on Donald Trump. Now you have Nikki Haley coming in, telling the truth about Donald Trump, the truth that everybody knows. They, they know it. And, and, you know, that's three. Sometimes Mike Pence is in that group, too. Mm. That's significant. I mean, that's, that's four more than it did it over Donald Trump's four years in office. Yeah, but still, Nikki Haley, good for her yesterday, because she did something that it's, it's, I can't understand why more of the candidates running against him for the nomination haven't done. If you're in a fight, what's the first instinct you have when someone throws a punch at you? you got to throw a punch back. Right. Nobody punches back. Nikki Haley punched back yesterday. And it was effective to a certain extent, I think, Jen. Watching her, yeah. it was very effective. It's just like, you know, it's kind of late. And also, it took her a long time. You know, that that was like a great clip to watch here. But in terms of, you know, actually breaking through to voters, that is like much, you know, she's making a nuanced argument. She should have been doing this consistently from the From start. the get-go. And yeah. in the beginning, she was just, I don't kick sideways. But I think like the New Hampshire poll, mm -hmm. New, you know what New Hampshire folks have been hearing? What? A lot of Chris Christie. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, right? That, like, so I think that may be the fact that you have Republicans in New Hampshire like Chris. That's his whole game, right, is, is New Hampshire. Right. And making this really forceful argument against Donald Trump. That's probably affecting and, the and by the way, Mike, two. as you know, in a state like New Hampshire, you know, we always talk about, oh, people see cable news, people do whatever. No, in New Hampshire, it goes town hall meeting to town hall meeting. Uh, church to church, school to school. So if somebody heard Nikki Haley saying what Nikki Haley said, and last week they heard Chris Christie saying what Chris Christie says, that's getting around when they're in church. That's getting around when they're in the car line in school going, hey, did you see what Nikki said last night at the hall? Uh, did you see what she said last night at the lot? I mean, and it, it, that does start to spread in New Hampshire, and it starts to accumulate. You know, despite all of the glittering media that we have around the country and every state and the nation focusing on politics, New Hampshire remains unique. And it still goes back to Mo Udall running for president in the early 1970s in New Hampshire when he said he went into a barber shop and he asked a guy for his vote. And the guy said to me, he said, well, he said, I, I haven't made up my mind about you yet. I've only met you twice. <laughs> right. I mean, people meet everyone in New Hampshire. If you go to Nashua, New Hampshire today, I was up there last week driving through Nashua, New Hampshire, you see a, signs of a Christie candidacy that's alive yep. in Nashua, New Hampshire, because he's been up there so much. That's an old secret. It's not really a secret. You got to show up in New Hampshire. Yeah, for and, sure. and when you show up, the word spreads again, neighbor to neighbor, friend to friend, family to family, and and you know Chinese uh, uh, religious cults, their websites have a lot less impact right. than somebody talking to you again at school or in a car line uh, saying, "Hey, so and so is like down the street last night." This is what they said. So here.